I'm excited to share with you today um, one of my favorite uh, mediums to work with and that is Perfect Pearls from Ranger Industries. And I'm excited to show you a few of my favorite ways um, to use these powders. Um, they come in small jars like this and what it is is it's a iridescent powder um, that can be brushed on um, to a stamped image that's been stamped with Versamark or a pigment ink such as our Vintage Cream or our Fresh Snow. And you can also mix it with water and there's hundreds of other things you can do with it but this is just my personal favorite way of using it. For my first card I'm going to show you how you can add um, highlights and shading to a single image using two different colors of Perlex. I'm using the uh, large leaf image from Harvest Berries with Versamark ink onto Pine Feather cardstock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this leaf three times onto the cardstock, coming in from various directions, creating a background of sorts. I'm going to try to leave this lower corner empty for the most part so I can add a sentiment later. Do one more time here to fill this corner up here. And there I have it. I'm going to use a nice soft round brush to start and I'm using um, the color Perfect Pearl. And what I'm going to do is get it just a little bit on my brush and I'm going to add it first to the stems of these leaves. What I'm also going to do is add a bit to the base of each of the leaves. If you can see here, I just kind of do a little circular movement at the very bottom of each leaf. What I love about Perfect Pearls is that it gives me the ability to create some really unique multicolor looks that might be a little bit more difficult to have control over when using just ink. Since you're applying the color with a brush, you have complete control of what colors go where. And it kind of opens up a whole new door of uh, possibilities as far as what you can do with all of your stamps. Now you can use um, Perfect Pearls on pretty much any color of cardstock you wish. However, I have always felt that the darker cardstock um, allows them to pop a bit more and really have some contrast. Okay. And as you can see, I'm just leaving these clumps of powder on here, and that's completely fine. Okay, so now I've done the basics, the stems and the base of the leaves. I'm going to go in with this second color called Blue Patina, and I'm going to brush that on the ends of the leaves. And I'm doing small circular motions and I'm going to kind of blend into that pearl silver color. If you can see how I've done that there. Now every time you pick up some color with this blue patina you want to just get a little bit enough for each leaf. So you want to start at the edge of the leaf and work your way in in a circular motion you can see how that blends. Here I've finished adding that blue patina to the ends of all the leaves. And what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to wipe off the excess. I'm using a Swiffer duster cloth. Um, you can use the Swiffer dry cloths for the brooms as well, but that works really, really well to get all, clean up all the excess powder. I love that. So there you can see these leaves, how they have this drama with the silver paired with the blue patina color. I'm now going to add a sentiment. And I'm adding this little with sympathy. And that's going to go down in this lower corner here. And I'm going to go back in with that perfect pearl color and with small circular motions. Get that covered. And once again, And there it is with the sentiment. Put some adhesive on the back of this. And stick it in place. I thought this project needed a little something else. So what I did is I took this Liquid Pearls um, product, also from Ranger. And I went in and I added little silver dots to kind of represent berries. And I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. But there's the finished card. For my next project, um, I'm going to show you how you can use an image. I'm using lovely layers here. And um, define certain parts of the image using various colors of the perfect pearls. Now to start this project, I'm going to stamp one of these medallions in the center. And then I'm going to continue to build my background. on the diagonal. And I'm leaving this area blank for a sentiment later. Um, this time I'm using uh, turquoise and sunflower sparkle perfect pearls. And I'm actually going to start with the turquoise. And I'm going to brush it onto just the outer leaves basically of this medallion image. You want to avoid the center. So I'm going to brush those, brush this onto all of them, just taking little bits at a time. Now that I've finished with the turquoise, I'm going to go back in with this sunflower sparkle. And what I'm going to do is do this center. And I'm also going to brush a bit onto the turquoise areas, including the centers of these leaves. It adds just a bit more definition to the leaves. And 
you can see how amazing the Perfect Pearls is with detailed stamps. I mean, it, it really brings out every single little detail of an image. Another thing I like about Perfect Pearls is that it's almost like magic when you're working with this because you don't really know how the finished product is going to look until you take and swipe all this extra powder off. It's kind of a magical moment really. So here I'm going to get rid of my excess powder and you can see just how amazing all of that shading and leaves is with that gold color. It really adds a lot to the project. So next I'm going to add my sentiment. Again use verse marking here. And I'm going to add this to the lower corner right here. Once again, take my brush. I'm going back in with the Sunflower Sparkle color. Beautiful gold. And there's that finished look. And this will be attached to Hawaiian Shores card base. Now I want to show you a little technique that I call Perfect Pearls Pull Off. Um, it may not be new to you, but um, I think it's a fun technique to revisit if you have tried it before. And if you haven't tried it, it's something fun and new to kind of add to your stamping repertoire. Um, I'm going to be using um, Berry Twist blush and perfect pearl and I've already stamped this piece of royal velvet cardstock with one of the large stripes from super stripes I don't want to bore you with that I'm going to start with the perfect pearl get a little bit on my brush and I'm going to add that over these stripes in a circular motion I'm going to do these first two stripes completely with the perfect pearl color. And this one I'm just going to go a little bit onto the edge of the next stripe. Like that. Now I'm moving on to the blush color. And it's kind of fun to experiment with these because the perfect pearls depending on what color of cardstock you brush them onto, they can take on a completely different look. So it's always kind of fun to experiment and see what you come up with. Okay, let's add this going just over a little bit into that next stripe. And now I'm going to get the berry twist. And on the royal velvet it almost ends up taking on a purple hue, which I like for this particular project. Blending those colors. Okay. And 
just like the other ones, I'm going to go in with this Swiffer cloth. Get it all cleaned up. And you can see here, it has this really stunning, um, almost an ombre effect. So I could leave it just like this, but I have decided to go back in with um, Mende Medallion. And I'm going to use First Mark ink with this. Ink that up. And what will happen is that since this Versamark ink is sticky, it's going to pull the perfect pearls off where I stamp. So I'm going to go down. And you want to make sure to stamp pretty firmly, especially with these larger images. And then when you lift it up, you can see it's removed the perfect pearls in that area. And the perfect pearls ends up on your stamp. You just want to take a baby wipe or something and wipe it right off. It comes off very easily. It won't hurt your stamps at all. And I'm going to go back in for a second time. Ink this up with Versamark again. from that Perfect Pearls. And I'm going to do it one more time. Kind of forming that visual triangle. And there you can see just how pretty that is where it's pulled off the perfect pearls. Now I've adhered this block to a Winter Wisteria card base and I'm going to take Royal Velvet ink and I'm going to add this sentiment in the lower corner And there is the completed card. I want to thank you for joining me today. And I hope that you'll take advantage of this week's Make It Monday to experiment with some perfect pearls. We look forward to seeing your creations. I'm sure they're going to be absolutely uh, spectacular.